All praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh. Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Raka Kodash. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and salutation to all the Akim doing and pushing his word in all honesty, truth, and sincerity worldwide. And a sincere shalom to the elect. And a shalom to you, uh, sincere sisters that do listen. Now, I wanted to get into this real quick. This is about that snake vocab, the trickster, okay? The sneaky, crafty trickster vocab. And it seems like he's he's running out of, of, of whatever, you know, juice that the elites have supplied him. Seems like he's running out of some juice, man, because, you know, when you go watch this video, Apostle Elder Tahar had uploaded this video here. When you go watch this video, you see, <laughs> you see vocab you know, ducking and hiding <coughs> from questions, man. Simple questions. He's ducking and hiding from, man. Simple questions with simple answers. Yes or no. Yay and nay. You know, and he's ducking and hiding. And uh, he had made mention, you know, you know how he is. He, to uh, throw the conversation off in one direction, you know, throw up something else. Or, you know, you know how... The crafty little devil he is. Um, he had said something about Tazariak mentioning about, you know, slitting throats, right? Slitting throats of your enemies and all this bullshit. Because he had said that, uh, I guess Tazariak in one um, video of his must have made the, you know, you know when you make your uh, thumb cross the throat, right? That doesn't necessarily mean to cut the throat. Of somebody, okay? That that could mean I'm gonna off you, I'm gonna I'm gonna pop you, I'm gonna burn your skin, you know what I mean? Whatever. Okay, it doesn't necessarily mean taking a knife and running across you know where, okay? You know how YouTube gets down. But um if he had a problem with what uh <laughs> if he has a problem with what um Captain Tazariak had said, and then and I noticed this woman over here. All she was doing was smile. I don't know if she talked before, but from when I was hearing what they were saying, she was just smiling and bopping her head back and forth. And then she uh, politely bowed her way out. So I don't know what the use of her was uh, being up there was. But, um, you know, and even she could see through the bullshit of vocab how he was deflecting, okay, instead of answering the question straight up like a man, okay? So... Let's get into these uh, scriptures here because he had a problem with something that, uh, you know, I guess Captain Tazariak had said. Well, we'll see what Yahweh Shai and what the scriptures say, okay? Because that's where it's at. It's what the scriptures say. He said, vocab. Doesn't the scriptures say that? Vocab. Uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. You can't run and hide, man. Stop joking, okay? Because what the scriptures say is what the scriptures say. What the Lord, is the Lord a liar? As a matter of fact, let's get that real quick. He said he's not a liar, man. Man is a liar, okay? Numbers chapter 23 and verse 19. Yahweh is not a man that he should lie. Close the book. Bottom line. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Have he said and shall he not do it? Or have he spoken and shall he not make it good? Yes, okay? Yes, when the Lord speaks on a matter and says this is the, the judgment, you best believe. You could guarantee, you could put, if the Lord says um, December 1st, I'm going to make the, uh, you know, I'm going to make somewhere in Africa crash or a, a hole open up, where whatever, okay? You can guarantee, okay, bottom line. You could bank your whole paycheck and dollars on what the Lord said. Because what the Lord said is true. He'll make it happen. That's it. Bottom line. He's not like man that he got to, uh, let me pull this back and let me, uh, you know, let me uh, change that. And no, 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 no. There's none of that. Okay. He's not doing anything like that. Okay. When he say he going to do it, he going to do it. Bottom line. So vocab had a problem with, you know, Isaiah chapter 60. Let's get it real quick. He had a problem with the scripture or he was just jumping around or playing games or something, man. 
you looking you looking terrible vocab okay isaiah chapter 60 and verse 12 for the nation and kingdom that that will not serve thee shall perish let me say that again for the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish yea those nations plural shall be utterly wasted okay so if it's not just one nation two nations doesn't matter whoever want to be rebellious you're gonna get your ass whooped okay simple and plain bottom line how, how do you jump around that man you can't jump around that the lord said it and there it is for the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish yea those nations shall be utterly wasted okay but he has a problem with that and we know why he has a problem with that because what we're saying is true and the payoff if he didn't get paid off the trick you know the uh lion theologian school the cemetery school that he went to okay they haven't you know the truth is not with them man bottom line so let's go into another scripture yep The jig is up, vocab. We, we, you know, we all see through you, man. Isaiah chapter 33 and verse 18. Thine heart, meaning the mind, shall meditate terror. Where is the scribe? Where is the receiver? Where is he that counted the towers? Thine heart shall meditate terror. This is talking about when we get those spiritual powers and we have our enemies in captivity. Okay, when we have our enemies beneath our feet. Uh, mainly on to Esau, Edom, but you other nations too. You want to go off? That's your ass. But we gonna meditate on things to do to you, okay? For those purposes, you go off. Well, I've, I've been I've been meditating on something in the back of my mind to do for you. I got something to do you real good, you know. And that's it. Bottom line, you have a problem with that? Well, that's your problem. Take it up with Yahweh. <laughs> go ahead. Try taking up with the big man. Okay? Try. There's no counselor, no wisdom, no understanding. Proverbs chapter 21 and 30. Okay? That you could uh, hire some counselor. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like Well, too bad. You're just a player in the movie. And you could be cut at any given time. Any given Sunday. <laughs> yep, let's go to Jeremiah. You know what these people did to us? And you're talking about being friendly to them and, and, and we're just going to be skipping hands in the kingdom and we're going to forget about things. You're a sore loser, man. You haven't read the scriptures, man. Jeremiah chapter 12, or you have and you just, you know, the Lord's not working with you. You're blind. And we, you know, truly think that you're some kind of Edomite, man. You, 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 you act like an Edomite. You behave like an Edomite, you know. You tried to offer the apostle elders pizza. You know, get the hell out of here, man. Forget about it. Okay? Jeremiah chapter 12 and verse 15. <coughs> no, 16. And it shall come to pass, if they will diligently learn the ways of my people, to swear by my name, yeah, Yahweh liveth, as they taught my people to swear by Baal, then shall they be built in the midst of my people. But... If they will not obey, I will utterly pluck up and destroy that nation, saith Yahweh. Okay. So you, what do you think? Israelites are gonna be in charge, and you could go, you could go, uh, fucking doing whatever you feel like. No, no, nah, sucker. No. Nah. Okay. This is why. Yup. Actually, let's go to Psalms first. Psalms chapter two and verse uh, eight. Ask of me. And I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them into pieces like a potter's vessel. Okay? And who's he talking about? Who's going to get hit with that rod? You heathens. Okay? Our possession. Okay? You, 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 you vocab, you, you got it twisted, man. You really got it twisted. And we're going to stand stiffly for this because, you know, we see the darkness that compassed the earth, man. 
and we love Yahweh while Yahweh shy. So we're going to do what our Lord and Savior has told us, you know, commanded us to do. Okay? Speak the truth. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 25. But that which ye have already, hold fast till I come. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him I will give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. Okay? So, yeah, and he that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto churches. And this guy don't have the Spirit. Yahweh is not working with him. He's a fucking Edomite. Okay? He's a, he's an enemy. He's an enemy of us. Okay? But going back into this, he said what? He shall rule over them with a rod of iron. They shall be broken to shivers. You, you're going to get hit, bopped in the head. All right, so tempo. <laughs> Bop! Right in the face. You're going to drop. Boom. You know, make your teeth be shown before your face. You'll be like, sorry, master, sorry. Sorry, sorry. You're going to know your place in that day. Because we're going to fuck with you too. Thy mind shall meditate terror. We're going to put that... Spirit on some of you heathens, especially you fucking Edomites, to think pridefully and think that you can actually do something. But you, 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 you're like a a a a a a, a puppy with his hands tied up in a bag, in a bag, in a bag. You can't do shit, man. So we're gonna put that spirit upon you, just like when Yahweh Shai returns, he's gonna put the spirit on these nations and eat them to try and fight them. He wants a good fight. Okay, they're going to be scared, but yet there's fight because the Lord is going to put that spirit in them. Come on, come, come, come on, come on, motherfucker. <laughs> you know, and we're going to do the very same thing in the kingdom. We're going to fuck with your mind, Esau. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you, Esau going to be like, yeah, we're going to put it in your mind like how uh, Toba and Tobias, you know, the angel made it seem, Raphael made it seem like he was eating. But he made those visions in their mind. Same thing you could do with spiritual power. Esau Edom was thinking he's building a gun or he found a gun. He'd be like, oh shit, yo, bullets. You know how you have a dream and you wake up from that dream? You're like, damn, where's where's all that possession? It's gone. You know? That's the same thing that's gonna happen to Esau Edom. Esau Edom's gonna be in the kingdom, you know, grunting around, you know, <laughs> looking, scavenging, and he can be like, oh shit, found a weapon. I think I can use this against one of those Israelites. <laughs> you know? Boom! Appear right before him. Yo, Esau, that's that look what's in your hand. Esau's gonna look down as a stone or a stick. You're gonna be like, ah oh, shit. Yeah, 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 time to whoop your ass now. Time to time to put you in behavior. Behavior mode. Okay. Oh yes, I must read this. Uh actually wait. Let's lock here. Let me get the next. Okay, Revelation. 13 and verse 9. Let me read it here first. Revelation 13 and 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So you got a problem with Tazariak or any of us Israelites talking about when you when you nations are in the kingdom, we're gonna, you know, if you go off, we're gonna give you a, a fucking royal rumble beating. Okay? A WWF SmackDown, a Super DDT, Paul Driver, right into the ground, man. Right into the, <laughs> the center of Earth, all right? Not flat Earth. So, you got a problem with that. This is what's written in the scriptures that we shall be doing. Those who are risen with the Lord, 144, guess what? All Israelites actually going to be kicking ass if you want if you want fucking, um, if you want to really get down to it. No weapon that's formed against thee shall prosper. Even our ch children shall be able to play with, with poisonous snakes. Shall be able to roam with the lions. And nothing's going to happen to them. Not a bee sting. Not a fucking thorn in the foot. Nothing. Okay? And you're telling me that those beings that conduct themselves in a high manner, royal priesthood, can't put you to death. 
I don't think you read these scriptures, okay? The Lord himself is righteous. And you see how much death is happening here? <laughs> this, this guy, I don't know, man. This guy, man, okay? So it tells you that he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patient and faith of the saints. Well, what's the problem with that vocab? Okay, I know what the problem is. You want this, you know, lovey-dovey, um, smoking reefer white boy image. You know, you've been popping up in people's mind. That's not how the Lord looks, first of all. Second of all, the Lord is not coming back to hand out candies, um, cure beers, none of that. He is coming to kill. Matthew chapter 10 and verse 34. Think not that I come to send peace on earth. Hold on. So you got a problem with what Tazariak was saying. Here's the Lord, Yahweh Shai, who you call JC, right? Here's him telling you, when you go, what are you gonna, how are you gonna misinterpret this vocab? Really? How the fuck are you gonna misinterpret this? The Lord is saying, think not that I come to send peace on earth. I come not to send peace, but a sword. What the hell's wrong with you? The much death, the much destruction that's coming upon this earth. And guess who's at the helm of it? Our Lord and Savior, man. The chariot's going to be doing wapo zappo, getting down. Much bloodshed. The Lord made a metaphorical statement saying that, you know, um, the blood was up to his girdle. High, high, high amount of blood. Okay? He had on vesture that was, was, was splattered with some blood, roughly phrasing. Which is not going to be. It's just a metaphor. To, 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 to show you the mass death. Okay? Mass. The, the, the amount of uh, death that's going to be a high fucking number, man. But yeah, you 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 talking about the Lord is coming back to hand out candies. And give peace, people peaceable kisses on the right hand and on the left hand. And everybody going to be sitting down with some manna and fish. And breaking bread with twigs in their hair. Passing around reefer, reefer smoke. Get the fuck out of here, man. Something's wrong with you, vocab. Something's definitely wrong with you. And let me get that scripture before I go into that scripture. Let's go to Ezekiel. What the hell's wrong with my eyeballs? Ezekiel chapter 35. Let me uh, do this. Flip this there. Put that back. Turn that off. Boom. <laughs> Whenever you're making a video, brothers, you know, turn off the, you know, you know what I mean? Put it on airplane mode or whatnot. Because you don't want no disturbance, right? This is an edifying video. Nice meal. As a matter of fact, if you're sitting down to eat something nice, like a good soup, plate of soup, you don't want to be interrupted to go lift something up and carry something around the house and then jog upstairs, jog downstairs, and then come back to your... No, no, no. It doesn't work that way. One sitting. Ezekiel 35 and, and, and 5, because thou has had a perpetual hatred. Oh, wait, 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 wait. NLT. Your eternal <laughs> hatred for the people of Israel led you to butcher them when they were helpless. Now, it's very funny that all these people could do this to us, but when it comes to judgment, we can't do it to them. When the Lord is saying that he that killed with the sword must be killed with the sword. What the hell do you think is going to be doing the killing? Jackass. When I had already punished them for all their sins, as surely as I live, saith the sovereign Lord, saith Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, since you show no distaste for blood, I will give you a bloodbath of your own. Your turn has come. Boom. Vocab. I just want you to read that for a second. I'm going to pause it for a second and just read it. Read it. Right here. Don't, 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 don't try to jump around. Read it. Good. You read it? Yay or nay? Simple and plain. Lord has promised, promised that these enemies. I, wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Wait, buddy, Russ. This guy playing scunt. 
Baruch chapter 4 and verse 25. My children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from God, for thine enemies have persecuted thee. Psalms chapter 17 and 13. Who's that whooping stick? Who's that sword? Esau, Edom, and these other nations, right? My, my children, the Israelites, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from God. The much destruction, much killing, syphilis, all these different hate and shedding of our blood, okay? All of that, okay? Because we we, we, we stepped against Yahweh Shem Shai. You understand? For thine enemy have persecuted thee, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. You think that's right, vocab? This is what the Lord is saying is going to happen, okay? So let's get the last scripture and let's see what the Lord, what the Lord himself has said. <laughs> vocab. If you had a problem, if you had a problem, I must say, with what Tazariak was saying, then you got a problem with what the scriptures were saying, man. Because he was saying the Lord has promised blood. All right? Simple and plain. Blood. You're going to get fucked up. You're going to die. Okay? <laughs> Let that nigga trip you red. You're going to die. Yeah, you're going to die. All these people out here, the masses, you go, you're going to... Let me just get this and close out. Luke that chapter 19 and verse 27 NLT. But as for the as for these and you know what? KJV. But those mine enemies which would not that I should reign over them, bring them hither and slay them before me. Let me get the as a matter of fact, hold on. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. It's red letter. You see that? That's red letter. I hope you see that vocab. Okay? NLT. And as for these enemies of mine who didn't want me to be their king, bring them and execute them right here in front of me. This is what the Lord, this is what Yahweh Shem Yahushai is saying, man. The fuck you gonna say? This is what Yahweh Shai is saying. Salakia. What are you what what is your problem, vocab? We know your problem. You ain't got the juice. You working for the elites. You stressed out. You saying to yourself, how could I combat these Israelites? I ain't, you guys ain't supplying me right. You know, we know you're frustrated. We know you're pissed off. You know? But that's alright though. That's what you get for fucking around with the word of Yahweh about Shimei Shai. Eventually, like James and Jambres, like it says, all your shit gonna come forth, foaming forth. And that shall be seen of men. All your folly. You know what? Let me get that too. Let me end on that scripture. Because that goes to say for a lot of people. Oops. You know, people within this truth. And even people outside this truth. Okay? Uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 8. Now, as James and Jambres withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds retrograde concern the faith. But they shall proceed no further. For their folly shall be made manifest un unto all men, as theirs, as theirs also was. Okay? Now, like I said, this chick that was beside vocab was getting tired of this shit because she was like, Tazariak's making his point, but here it is, vocab's playing duck hide seek all over here, and she, her smile just went from not smiling to this shit right here. She had a big crocodile smile. And then all of a sudden, I could see, the, you know, the cheeks down here in the face. I, I could see it. I was like, she is getting upset with you, vocab. She's getting tired of this shit. I can't wait till this bitch walks out and boom. What'd she do? She gracefully bowed out. So everybody's seen your bullshit. The Lord himself said, bring them hither. Okay? <laughs> bring them hither. Okay? Bring them in and execute them right here in front of me and you know they had swords back then vocab so what you gonna say man you know at the end of year day and week you know be circumspect for this tricky sneaky vocab okay this tricky sneaky crafty devil okay we already your shit's been shown the jig is up okay and with that hey all praises all honor all glory be unto yahweh ba hashem yahweshai ba hashem rakak wadash Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and salutation to all the Akim. 
doing and pushing his word in all honesty, truth, and sincerity worldwide, and a sincere shalom to the elect. I hope you are edified. Lord willing to the next time. Wah abad babal.